Today I'll be reviewing Chilling in Another World with Level 2 Super Cheap Powers. This is another generic Iskai anime series, but with not much action. I decided to give it a chance anyway. In this anime series, the main character Fleo has been summoned to another world. He is seen as weak and boring in comparison to another guy that was summoned. The king sends him to a dangerous place and is basically trying to lead him to his death. It turns out though that Fleo is overpowered with many special abilities that are given to him. He soon meets a demon girl named Reese that falls in love with him right away, and she sees herself as his wife. So this Iskai anime series went as you expect it to go. The main character is given all powerful abilities right from the start. He can defeat enemies easily and can do anything, even bring people back from death. There is no tension at all during the fights. So far, there isn't anything special about this anime series, there is only one different thing about this Iskai anime series that it was going for. Fleo doesn't want to be a hero and fight on behalf of humans. He just wants to live a quiet, happy life with his wife. This may sound like a good thing, but it was actually boring to watch. It was a lot less combat and more slice of life scenes where not much is happening. It feels like such a waste having a powerful main character, but you see him relaxing most of the time. I'm not impressed with the characters. Fleo is a boring generic Iskai protagonist that just wants to protect the people that he cares about. His best quality about him is him being nice, so he's pretty much your typical anime protagonist. Reese is a cute waifu that acts like a loving wife towards Fleo. Normally I would like this, but in this case, it felt over the top, to the point where it seemed like this anime series is pandering towards lonely otakus. I know most Iskai anime series are like this, but this time it was just too much. The other characters weren't anything special. The opening song for his anime series was cute and cheerful. The ending song was okay. The music for the anime series was alright. The animation style and the animation looked average. I can't do this anymore. This is literally just a copy and paste of most Iskai anime series we've seen. It's to a point where it's like, do people seriously enjoy watching this? How many times have we seen something like this now? Too many times to even keep track of. I give this anime series a 5 out of 10. 